Hi Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this pretty card. Um, I've taken a sneak peek at the new catalogue and I'm pleased to say that this one has actually been carried over. Which I'm pleased because I do like this one. To use this, to make this card I am using Freezer Bird and I'm going to be using that image. The bird because inside I have put the bird and a flower, the little flower, and the leaves, oh, and the leaves. So it's the leaves, the bird, the little flower, and the branch with the birds on. I'm also using Label Me Bold. I don't remember seeing this in the new catalogue, which is a pity because I like it. But I'm going to be using Happy Birthday and the dots. So I've already coloured and cut out the birds and the leaves. So I will just stamp them and we'll colour them in together. So to get started we will need a white card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, and I've folded that wrong way. Thought I had. And we'll burnish that. Well, that's not folded very well. Good start. So it's the first time I have come across a card, a bought card base that hasn't folded properly. Yeah. So that is that, and then you want two white pieces at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. One for the inside and one for the outside. Alright, to get started. I need this scrap of paper. Let's put that over there so I can see what I'm doing. I am going to do some stenciling. I have got the brick wall stencil from Stamping Up. And we're going to stencil that on there using a brush. And I'm going to be using Crumpy. That. So, load my brush up. Now this is quite dark, this, as I keep saying when I use it. And I'm just going to do some wall just like that there and then that sticks on now that's come out quite dark I don't want it that dark so what I'm going to do like I did with the first one I am going to use smoky slate I should know that's quite dark. I don't know why that crumb cake is so dark. Right, get a different brush and load it up. Turn this around and use the top end. And just down in this bottom left corner, just stencil in a bit of brick like that and that will sit on there like that which I think will look quite nice clean the brush off put it back in the box and get rid of this right 
with Blushing Bride. And spots out of Labour Me Bold. I am just going to go around the edge of the bird or where the birds are going to sit and put some dots put another one there I'll just come in a bit just in case you can see it in between the leaves yeah that do so that's that bit done the background get rid of that put that to one side don't need that don't need that right what we do need is a scrap card put that to one side and our memento black let's get rid of these brushes our memento black and our birds and ink up the birds Stamp them down. Right. And then we need two leaves. Like that. Put that to one side. Put the inside piece. Make sure I've got the right piece. I've got the big bird. I think I've done this before. And we're going to place that down in the left hand corner. And then with the little flower, I am going to place that at his feet. Like that. that to one side. Bring this back and we're going to colour this in. I'm only going to colour one of the leaves in, don't need to do them both. Because like I said I've already cut them out. So how are you all doing on lockdown? Here in the UK, we're on week five. And they're talking about making it longer. A horrible virus this is not um, picking and choosing who it's going to get it's just attacking everybody all ages had some teenagers out and about the other day screaming and shouting outside I wish they'd um, stay in because it's attacking teenagers as well. <coughs> but they think they're all right, think they're invincible. It's 
to go and visit the children ward and find out for themselves. Oh, sorry. I'm um, colouring the flowers pink. Let's do this flower as well. And I was meant to do a little bit of grass around the bottom of him. Right, uh, soft suede, light, is it? Yeah, light soft suede to do the branch. on these leaves. Oh, that's his feather. Right. And now for the birds. What I did with the birds, I did their breast smoky slate. Just a little bit of it. Coloured the whole bird in balmy blue. And I went over the smoky slate as well. a robin in our garden this morning. What's the date today? 22nd? 23rd of April? And we had a robin in our garden. Usually have a pair of magpies that come in our garden. Wherever there's one, the other one's not far behind. Oh, the new colours for 2020-2021. They're lush, really nice. All right, and then we need an orange. Let's use this one. I don't know what color this is. This is light calypso coral. ideal. I 
and then I'm afraid you would have to cut these out by hand but they are I'm not going to cut the whole thing out they are dead easy to cut out but you'll get my meaning you just cut them out by hand they won't take long I'll keep that that'll do go into my box for another day right so there is my birds and my leaves so let's get putting this card together glue this on our card base like that and stick this inside Oh no what I haven't done yet. I haven't done my happy birthday and I'm going to do that in smoky slate. So get that and Stump it down there. Like that. Then with some big scissors. We will. Cut it out. And cut that down a bit. And cut that down. And there's our happy birthday. So, first of all, we're going to stick this on. So I need to take all the dimensionals off the back, as I've already put them on. Don't think you need to see me doing that boring bit. And this is going to be stick. Oh, right, we've got a leaf that will go under there. And this leaf I split up. I cut it up, that's what I did. And this one went under there. And this bit went under there. Yeah. Let's cut that off. I don't need that. So, we'll glue the back of these. Put them away in case I stab myself with them. Where's me other ones? Went in there like that. And then this one. Went in there like that. And this tiny one, I'm not going to waste it. 
I'm going to cut that off. And I'm going to stick it under there. That's what I'll do. And then my happy birthday will go there. I went on there. So I am going to put some mini dimensionals on it. Hello mini? Yeah. She said, have I got enough? off of these and we'll pop that on there. Right, all we've got left to add is some gems and I only added three. So and what I have been doing lately is adding dot of glue where I'm placing the gems because I'm finding they don't stay on that long or they keep getting knocked off not surprised they get knocked off the way I stack my cards up when I've done them there they are So that's that card done. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. Um, if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.